Hi everyone and welcome back. A uh, couple of deliveries today. Uh, rebuilt fuel pump for the Peugeot. Good, looking forward to trying that. Peugeot's been running but it hasn't had full power for a long time. And uh, and it was had a fault code and it was really playing up towards the end. Diagnostics said um, pump and they're 550 pound new. Someone rebuilt this for 180-ish, so that's good. I'm gonna pop that on today. Hopefully, we're back on track with the Peugeot. That's my daily. It's my dad's daily. It just and I love it. I, you know, I really love that car. Um, secondly, here this is very, very exciting. I think because this is the uh, Honda uh, Correct Honda CB200 fuel tap. So that will, of course, go on to the CB200 which looks a bit uh, neglected back here although still very stunning in fact we haven't had this bike out and we have with a decent cam camera uh, to look at so uh, that will be nice um, tomorrow I think I'm gonna get the car done and then tomorrow I have the CB out and hopefully the fuel tap resolves any uh, carb issues we had um, but also I believe I put in if I remember rightly I put in a new a float system or something. I'll need to get them carbs out and just have a little look over them. They're so quick and easy to work on that uh, I don't worry at all about them. Uh, so yeah, so uh, really excited. I really hope that bike starts, runs and rides well tomorrow because I, I love it. I mean, I know I've got this, but um, I do want the CB200 to, uh, I do want it kind of running, riding in the background. Uh, not much to do, not much to do. I'm not going to do much filming today because uh, I, I can't stand car stuff. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't want to do a how-to because I'm winging it myself. And uh, and it's a BMW uh, mini engine anyway, so there's plenty of videos out there. Except it's a bit different in this frame because it's everything's tighter. Anything they can do in the, in the mini, there's space for. But when they put that engine in here, it's really tight. Uh, the 390 is running so well. Um, I've been reading up about it. I've been looking up about it, and the uh, they say it's lumpy on the bottom end. It's not lumpy at all on the bottom end. I, uh, the only people I think who are saying that are people who haven't ridden singles before, um, as in singles that are bigger than 125s. Uh, we used to call them thumpers for a reason. They're big, fat pistons. They're thumping up and down. Uh, bottom end is a bit weak, like every other thumper. And then when you get it into its power band, it, it kicks in really nicely. You'd never know it was a single that when it kicks in at kind of three or four thousand revs. Um, it is one of the it's one of the best bikes. I, I know it sounds really silly, but it's one of the best bikes I've ridden in a long time. It's a, it's just fun. It's just fun messing with the power and stuff and and trying to eke every inch out of it. Uh, so tomorrow you'll be seeing much more, but I'm just kind of catching you up a bit uh, can't wait to pull out the cb have got a few hours today but the weather's looking miserable so hopefully i can get my fuel pump back on and we can get something going okay so um i'm shocking with cars terrible but this is kind of back together ish well you know it should be correct actually uh, I guess all I'm checking is that no fuel is, is going nuts there but by priming it and that, uh, you know, ideally the um, default code would disappear, wouldn't it? Uh, so I, I think I can prime it by switching it. Let's have a look and listen. I can switch it around twice. I, thought, I don't know if that does prime it actually because it's... Maybe it, it works on the crank. It started really easily considering it sat for a week and the fuel probably needed building back up, didn't it? Um, I can see the footage uh, is, is much smoother on my phone, but when I edit it and watch it later, it don't look as smooth, but some of you have said the new camera is pretty good at the moment. Um, if anyone's not seeing good footage on the camera, uh, please do let me know because 
I'm still playing with the settings. Uh, right. Uh, that sounds. It sounds. Ah, let's see if the fault message. So normally, right, it would beep. Ah, it's still on there. Look though. But normally it would say. Oh, it does feel. Does feel a bit chunkier. Right, let me just check something. So normally it will go like a stop or do not drive. I mean, it's been doing that for a year. I never actually stopped. Um, yeah, look, engine fault uh, repair. Uh, wow, in the footage they look like they're flashing, but they're not. Right, um, that is flashing. Uh, I, I mean, I want to take it for a test run and then get the OBD2 port out, see what's left. It may just need kind of resetting, uh, but I'll know, I'll know by putting my foot down as to how good it is or not. Uh, cool, yeah, let's do that. Um, I'm, you won't see any footage, but, oh, maybe I can put the camera up, actually. So, the uh, car drove very, very well, um, and what it was doing before was it was very stuttery on the bottom end and then low on power at the top end. So it was kind of definitely um, low on uh, fueling because it, it didn't have any top end. Um, I'd say it's still missing 10 to 20% of, of its power, uh, but I have, I've never changed the spark plugs and they were bad last time. So I think spark plugs and the top um, sensor, oxygen sensor need changing. But after that, I think it should be good. Um, yeah, so that's it. So not really much update today, but um, getting the car off back on the road is, is, is great. I feel good about that. Um, with the KTM, at some point, I want to take the uh, panels off, take the seat off, see if it's got a piggyback on it. Um, have a little chat about piggybacks. I want to check the air filter, see if it's high flow or not, and see where we go from there. I've actually got a racing exhaust for this bike, um, and it's a decat as well. It takes off the big old catalyst, so... Uh, um, yeah, it'd be good. And actually, this bike, I'll chat about it later, but this bike doesn't need a piggyback for an exhaust either. Um, the newer ones do. But I'll explain a bit more about that when I talk more about it. So for now, that's it. Sorry, pretty boring. Um, oh, by the way, uh, ordered some carbs for the phaser there in the post. I'll be here in a few days. So next weekend, we'll be looking at the phaser. Tomorrow, we'll be looking at the CB200 very exciting if it's a warm day i'll pull out john's bike fire it up uh just to you know keep it on its toes yeah great news again sorry boring but uh i like to keep you guys up to date this is what i'm doing this is i'm kicking about and uh yeah uh, drop a comment make sure you press like um still 700 watches average on videos and 100 likes you know ideally if you're watching regularly and you like uh, do just press the thumbs up it, it is helpful for the channel and the algorithm and the more thumbs up the more little bit of pay it gets uh, 180 pounds last month 180 pounds 185 pounds from videos not bad at all uh, that pays for you know that paid for the carbs that paid for the carbs and i actually genuinely wouldn't necessarily have had the money for the carbs without that so actually by watching and subscribing and dropping a comment and pressing thumbs up you really are helping contribute towards this channel.